All right, so there's an, uh, as best as I can tell, unconfirmed rumor going around that Robin Leonard has a handshake agreement with the Golden Knights to extend his contract five years, 25 million for an AAV of 5 million. Um, I have not been able to find any reputable source that has actually said this is no doubt 100% true. ESPN called it a handshake agreement. Um, and I'm basically hearing it as a, you know, this is swirling in the rumor mill. So I'm going to take a moment and just examine like, okay, what if it is true? What if Robin Leonard is going to extend five years at an AAV of $5 million? Well, here are my thoughts on it. First of all, I think from a compared to some other goalies in the league standpoint, uh, the Knights would be getting a good deal that there are currently 16 goalies besides Robin Leonard that are making $5 million or more a year. And some of them include Corey Schneider, John Gibson, Freddie Anderson, Jimmy Howard, Jonathan Quick, who at one time deserved far more than that, but now he's not quite what he used to be. Although the Kings aren't quite what they used to be, so maybe it's partly on that. Um, so those are some guys that I would say are not as good as Robin Leonard, but would be making more or at least as much. Um, so from a, you know, compared to the market, I think getting Robin Leonard for $5 million a year would be a good deal for the Knights. Um, Flurry, by the way, is signed with the Knights through the end of the 21-22 season, and he's making $7 million a year. So... Uh, you know, would he request a trade? Um, you know, I think that's a reasonable possibility if they extend Leonard that Flurry will want out. I don't know if that's true, but I think Flurry still has a year or two of starting goaltender capability in him. Although you do see a lot of teams now that are going to this two, uh, you know, sort of a one, a one A one B goaltender tandem. You know, like you have Halak and Rask in Boston, you have Hudobin and. Uh, Bishop in Dallas. So it's not like every team has gone. Ha, ha, you know. Let me back up and say it this way. You know, throughout the 90s, I would say, every team had a starting goaltender, period. If you had two goaltenders, you didn't have any. Like they say in football, if you've got two quarterbacks, you don't have any quarterback. Uh, it's kind of that way, or it was kind of that way in hockey. It's not so much that way with the goalies anymore. There are a lot of teams that are trotting out two goalies, uh, and they're evening the, the minutes a lot more. Uh, but I think that Flurry would sit more than he played if Leonard extends and so, I don't know. I, I think Leonard, I think Flurry would want out. And I think there are a lot of teams that would like to have Flurry. Um, so let's talk about it, not so much from a comparison of uh, other contract standpoint, but just from a does, is Leonard uh, worth five million when you look at his numbers? And is he uh, someone that you think you can bank on? Well, he has a career goals against average of, 200, of 272 in something like 300, a little over 300 games. And he's got a career save percentage of 918. Those numbers are respectable, but not amazing. Um, I mean, yeah, I'll go with that. They're respectable. They're very respectable numbers, but they're not amazing. They're $5 million a year numbers. They're not Carey Price numbers, you know, and forgive me, I didn't actually look up Carey Price's career numbers, so maybe they are Carey Price numbers. They're not the kind of numbers that you would want, in my opinion, if you're gonna pay a guy $7 million, $8 million, $10 million, like Price and Bobrovsky, <clears throat> but they're um, they're probably $5 million numbers. However, I will say this, even though he's got a 272 career goals against and 918 career save percentage, he has a, he has better numbers in, in the postseason, so his playoff numbers are better. And so, you know, I'm kind of looking at it like this. If he's a guy that's good enough to get you to the postseason and then he kicks it up a notch, then he's worth $5 million or more. So um, it, this will be interesting. I'm really eager to see whether or not he actually has this deal in place. And I'm extremely eager to see what uh, Flurry uh, does if, if they do sign Leonard to five years, if Flurry will ask <clears throat> to get out. Anyway, if you're a Knights fan, let me know what you think. Um, the, uh, or, <laughs> sorry, something else just popped into my mind. I saw somebody uh, make a comment, I'm, I'm assuming it was a Blackhawks fan, that said basically, so the Blackhawks wouldn't give Leonard five years at $5 million a year. Like they wouldn't keep Leonard at that price because let's face it, Crawford has been very, very, very steady 
But Crawford's, I would say, I mean, he's a free agent, and I don't know if he'll be back. But even if he is back, I would say he's in the waning years of his uh, usefulness. And Leonard's not in the waning years of his usefulness. I think if the Blackhawks uh, were of a mind to keep Leonard at all, this would have been a very reasonable deal if they could have signed him for this. But whatever. Uh, so if you're a Blackhawks fan, how are you feeling about that? If you're a Knights fan, are you hopeful that this is true? You want to... <clears throat> Sorry, a wasp just flew right in my face. You want to see them keep Leonard um, uh, and extend him like this? Uh, if you're a, a Knights fan, are you a big Flurry fan? Do you, do you hate this because you want to see Flurry get the bulk of the starts? You know, what what are you thinking? Let me know. Leave me some comments. I appreciate you watching. Uh, pl do please uh, hit the little like button, right? The like button, and please subscribe if you have not already subscribed. That that would uh, that would be uh, really awesome. Have an awesome day. Bye now.